Welcome back to the channel. A client of mine was renovating their kitchen and they wanted to extend their kitchen island at the same time. This is a quick sketch up that I came up with. On the right hand side is the existing kitchen island which has a toe kick. On the left hand side is the addition we're going to add to the island. It's going to be two feet wide and the idea is to carry the toe kick forward into the addition seamlessly and I plan to carry that toe kick all the way around the corner as the front of the cabinet will be open. The cabinet will be made out of three panels. The left hand panel will go all the way to the bottom to the floor and the right hand panel will go just above the toe kick. Both of those panels will be connected with a panel on the bottom. The cabinet will have three cleats. There will be a cleat on the bottom back, top back and top front. There's also going to be adjustable shelf in the cabinet and the cabinet will be connected to the island using screws through the cleats on the top and the bottom. The cabinet will have a face frame and all the joinery will be done through pocket hole screws. going to be using 3 quarter inch bolted birch plywood for this project. Here I'm just marking up where I want to make the cuts and then using my homemade circular saw guide to do the actual cuts. making the cut at 23 and a quarter inches and then with the addition of a three quarter inch face frame we're going to end up at 24 inches. Just marking up both sides of the cabinet for the shelf pins and then I'll be using this shelf pin jig to make the holes. It comes with a self centering bit and it's a lot faster and easier to do this now before the cabinets assembled. going to be using pocket hole screws to connect the base to the sides. I'm just preparing the base here and making a few pocket holes on both sides of the base.
using assembly squares to help attach the bottom to the sides and then uh, using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws With the sides attached to the base, uh, we're ready to attach the cleats. First thing we're going to do is cut the cleats to size. Cleats are glued and screwed using pocket holes again. With the cabinet made, we're going to work on the face frame next. The face frame will be made out of 3 quarter inch poplar. We're just going to cut it to size and then attach it with glue and nails.
just attaching the last part of the face frame and then the cabinet's ready to be installed on site. We were on a tight schedule for this uh, project so didn't get time to film the installation. So here I'm just showing you the cabinet already installed. In order to hide the seam between the existing cabinet and the new cabinet we are going to use this custom made trim molding. Uh, it's going to be glued and then pin nailed. If you're interested in seeing how I made this uh, trim molding it was in my previous video. There will be a link in the description if you're interested. With the trim molding complete, the cabinet is installed. The shelf has been installed as well. The shelf has a face frame. It's a nice snug fit. There's no gaps on the sides. Just needs sanding and then a coat of primer and the final coat of paint.